Maundy Thursday, 1957, and Fred Jeffs leaves his sweet shop at Stanley Road and drives to the nearby Warley Woods to walk his dog, Pero, the only known witness to what will happen next. We think that he rendezvous with a mystery woman, that he's attacked, bundled into the back of his van, and driven off. We know that his dog is let loose, and that Fred's body will be discovered in the remote beauty spot the following afternoon. And my mother came up and told me that he'd been murdered, and uh, we were shocked. In those days, you never, you know, you never heard of anything like that, especially on your doorstep. This can't happen around here. We don't have things happen like that around. Over 60 years later, the impact of that event remains crystal clear for so many who were just children at the time. It's something you can't ever forget because I had nightmares about it for years, especially when I found out what had happened. People were really worried about it and the fact that it was never solved as well. Fred Jeffs was my great uncle and I'm making it my business to find out what really happened to him by speaking to those who can recall the unsolved mystery of Fred Jeffs and the Sweet Shop Murder. Listen weekly from the 16th of October on your preferred podcast platform.